Hello and welcome to the 13th round of the 2016 PCC Light Season here at the Burlington Raceway in Vermont. Now, starting on the pole, for the second time this season is Lenore Scurry with JF Davila on her outside, James Beverly, Lucy and Ekdahl Jr. in the second row. Now, this track, the Burlington Raceway, has been around since the late 90s, primarily used for Trans Am and sports car racing, but uh, PCC Lights and Truck Series uh, officials did broker a deal to start running at this track this season. Uh, in an effort to break into the Northeast uh, part of the United States a bit more. Uh, Northeast uh, United States, not really known for holding too many PCC uh, National Series races. Uh, now the PCC truck race uh, had a pretty large accident with Phil Decker and Daniel Eckleiter there. Uh, PCC truck series race ran earlier today. Uh, Phil Decker would drive away, Daniel Eckleiter's truck would uh, not be able to move off the track, but he would be fine. Uh, he'd be cleared from the infield care center, and Mason Yokoyama would take his second career win in a dominant fashion over Zachary Fitzwater there in second place, uh, equaling his best effort from Chicago earlier in the year. But Mason Yokoyama uh, doing a pretty good job in the light in the uh, truck series, looking like a championship contender with Gabriel Messina and Dean Wormer rounding out the field. And with that, Lenore Scurry leads the field to the green flag. The field's bunched up very well. That was a pretty good start by all cars. And uh, Lenore Scurry gets a good bit of drafting help from Beverly and uh, Fisher back there in the 34 and the 27. She's defending the outside line, cuts back across, and going through turn number three, she's going to give up the bottom to James Beverly just a bit, but has a good run coming out of the turn. we got a few cars sliding wide in the back, but looks like they've sorted all that out. And uh, the top three have begun to break away from the rest of the field as just a bit further back, Lucy Nectal Jr. hooks Justin King and puts him into the wall there. Uh, Justin King got a lot of damage on the rear end of that car, but he should be able to continue on without too much of a problem. Uh, King had a pretty good qualifying effort, and it's unfortunate that uh, he got spun so early and is going to lose that much more time as Ron Yave in the 8 car uh, pits up at the end of lap 1, uh, trying to roll the dice on pit strategy, it would seem. Uh, going to see how that plays out for him. Now here is Sam Smith. Uh, haven't seen him all season except in the truck series once. Uh, He's been dabbling in sports car racing ever since he left the PCC Cup Series at the end of 2011 and uh, is deciding to throw his hat into the ring as a road ringer, uh, running right behind his teammate Casey Lester there in the 29. He's doing a bit of practice here uh, to get ready for the round of Russia. He's actually running for Lucas Motorsports in their 06 car. As Jeff Fisher has broken away from James Beverly, who's fallen back to fourth now, and is right up on the back bumper of Lenore Scurry there in the 92. Uh, Jeff Fisher, the ex-Trans Am legend, uh, won the championship in that series uh, a multiple times in the mid-2000s, running in second place. As here is uh, Dustin Oliver. He's going to get into uh, Dima Van Hall. He's going to go into the wall. Zach Myers involved, Sam Smith, and uh, that's going to do quite a bit of damage to the 31 car, damaging the transmission. He would only have first gear for the rest of the race, and that's going to hamper him to only about 80-so... Uh, 80 some miles per hour in that 31 car so uh that's uh not going to be a very healthy race for him on the other hand oliver's teammate sam burkhart just broke into the top 10 getting around greg maddox for 10th now he sets his sight on alex pausington there in the 18 for ninth place uh sam burkhart after all of his uh exceptional lights performances in the past few years has been heavily rumored uh to be moving up to the cup series in the 51 car for johnson racing replacing uh the off-maligned uh, Kale Bernfart Jr., uh, potentially as soon as uh, the series returns to the Americas. So that should be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, Fergal Sheedy and Matt Tauger have lost the draft and the pack and uh, are several seconds off the pace here today, so they're going to have a long day ahead of them. Uh, really not going uh, well for them. Here's Lucy and Ekdahl Jr. getting around uh, Pat O'Hannigan there uh, for fifth place. And he's having a pretty good run. The uh, Swedish road course racer, known for uh, crashing a lot of open wheel cars, but has done exceptionally well here in the light series. Uh, hasn't really been involved in too many accidents, and uh, he's kept his car clean more often than not, and uh, has shown to have uh, a knack for these road courses, so he's doing a pretty good job here today. Uh, Ekdal Jr. up in the top 10 in points, actually, uh, so doing an exceptional job this season now. Lenore Scurry is coming up to lap Dustin Oliver, who is the second uh, second place driver in points, and 
uh, he's having a pretty miserable day, and you can see just how slow having one gear makes you at this track. Uh, but Jeff Fisher's been all over Lenora Scurry here, and uh, he's going to make another look there, but it's not going to work out, and he's going to lose some momentum. And Lenora Scurry's going to start to pull away once again, but uh, Jeff Fisher, it's been a game of cat and mouse with the leaders up there. Uh, Tiffany Matthews has had a really rough season. She, I believe, is the last in points of drivers who have made uh, every single race. Uh, but she's having a pretty good race. She's up in 15th place, and that is a hornet's nest uh, behind her. That battle for uh, 15th on back, you've got Matt Beck, uh, Sam Smith, JC Carpenter. There's Austin Sanders having a good run up there. And that's just a mess in the midfield. It's James Beverly uh, up in third place having a really good run. Uh, and uh, Beverly, it looks like he might be back up in the Cup Series next year as... Uh, he has never actually qualified for a cup race, uh, going back to 2011, but uh, he did qualify for Mansfield this year with ROG Motorsports, but surrendered that spot to Kelly Blackwater. Uh, but with uh, his runs in the light series, James Beverly looks like he's going to be moving up to the cup series next year. Uh, not sure with what team, though, as uh, Lucy Nectal Jr. has just set fastest lap, and he got around uh, James Beverly for third place so the leaders might have to look out for another challenger here but it looks like Beverly is all over the back bumper he's bump drafting him in that car now we're gonna take a look at the battle for 14th place as oh Carpenter just got run into by Matt Beck he bounces back into him letting him know he's not too happy about that and Sam Smith is gonna follow Beck on the inside and take 15th place away from Carpenter as uh, Carpenter who nearly won at Dover last week is doing a pretty decent job here today uh, following up that top 10 run he had uh, last week as Lenora Scurry now goes three wide with the lap cars. Fergal Sheedy bouncing between her and Dustin Oliver. Oliver goes into the wall and Fergal Sheedy's going to go around as lap traffic wreaking havoc on the leaders as we've got uh, Jeff Fisher and uh, James Beverly back there starting to close in just a bit again. Matt Tauger uh, staying out of the way just a bit. Uh, See, after seeing uh, what happened with Sheedy there and uh, Dustin Oliver, uh, perhaps that's a good thing. As now Jeff Fisher is starting to catch uh, 92, takes a look on the inside. Is he going to be able to get a run? No, it looks like his run's going to die out as he doesn't have the momentum going through the turn as Beverly trying to give him a little bit of drafting help, but he's way too far back for that to even matter. As it uh, looks like one of the lapped cars that they're going to be catching here is Kelly Thomas, who is Jeff Fisher's teammate. And it's going to be really interesting to see what happens uh, when uh, Lenora Scurry catches Thomas up there as uh, they've got Ron Yave between the two of them. As Jeff Fisher making a look on the inside once again, but it, the, that run's going to die out. Uh, doesn't quite have the momentum. As uh, next lap, here we are. Uh, Kelly Thomas is going to throw the block and not get out of the way of Lenora Scurry. Uh, now she is, but that means that Jeff Fisher has the inside and he's going to take the lead. So Jeff Fisher, the uh, Trans Am legend, as I mentioned before, he this is not actually his first race at Burlington. Uh, he's run here a few times in the Trans Am cars in the mid-2000s. Uh, is going to hold on to the lead as the leaders now have to fight with lap traffic, but Jeff Fisher has clean space right in front of him as uh, now Greg Maddox brings his car into the pits. He is uh, reporting a suspension issue on the 08 car, and that is going to do him in today. Really unfortunate. Uh, he was one of the few drivers who got shut out of the PCC Cup Series who really, I think, deserved to be there, especially after his runs in 2012. Uh, looks like James Beverly got around Lenore Scurry for second place, and Beverly, who, uh, quite frankly, I don't think we've seen uh, a whole lot out of him this season. He's had good runs, but uh, nothing too exceptional, is now hunting down Fisher for the lead. And uh, Beverly, who... Uh, I've heard some rumors that he might be headed to the Cup Series next year with a team. Uh, looks like this might be his day to shine in victory lane as Fergal Sheedy, who has had uh, his bad day go from uh, well, bad to worse and now from worse to terrible as his engine lets go. And uh, uh, I don't think that's a huge loss for the field, to be entirely honest, as James Beverly now blows up from second place the same lap right in the middle of the track and he's going to try and get that car to the inside uh, really tough break for Beverly who is looking to have an exceptional run here today possibly a victory locked up now here's Sam Smith running up in the top 15 
Uh, this team is in is encountering an interesting problem as Sam Smith uh, was originally going to be the driver for this team at uh, the round of Canada, which is coming up in a week's time. But he is going to be in Russia as he is the fourth driver and reserve driver for Lucas Motorsports uh, for the round of Russia. So the team does not have a driver currently. They don't want to hire Dan Branch, uh, who was their other road course ringer because he's rubbed that team the wrong way and his sponsors didn't pay. So they need to find a driver within a week uh, to drive the 28 car. As it looks like uh, Kelly Thomas, uh, maybe a bit of karmic retribution as that car breaks down in the middle of the track. Uh, she would get it refired and back to the pits, but uh, Kelly Thomas, who did throw the block for her uh, teammate to get the lead, uh, is going to fall several laps down. As Sam Burkhart now got around uh, Lucy Nectal Jr. there and is up to third place. So Sam Burkhart, not real really known as a road course racer uh, showing up some of the drivers who are as you've got JF Davila back there in fifth place Lucy Nectal Jr. still hounding uh, Sam Burkhart and, uh, Burkhart continuing to make a case for why he should be in the Cup Series next year or maybe as soon as uh, the second or the final third of uh, the Cup schedule which may end up happening as uh, looks like oh that's the second Lambert Motorsports team uh, car to blow up. Zach Meyer, who had a pretty miserable race, goes out uh, due to an engine failure. So that's two engine failures on the team that's second in the team championship. And uh, that's not going to be a good points haul for them as uh, both cars are going to be dropping out of the race right there and then. Uh, Pat O'Hannigan here running pretty well. He's up in sixth place and that's a pretty decent pack of cars behind him. Uh, you've got Denny Adams there. You've got uh, both uh, Tony Long cars, Casey Lester's back there having a pretty good run, and these cars have been nose to tail for the past few uh, few laps as Denny Adams there trying to get a run on the inside with help from Roman Carpont, as uh, all of these drivers have had some uh, level of road racing experience, uh, some of them racing in Europe, some of them uh, racing here in the States. They're all doing pretty well uh, so far here today, as Jeff Fisher now has an open track in front of him, pretty uh, putting a pretty good gap on uh, Lenore Scurry there. As uh, Jeff Fisher, we might see him in the Cup Series next year, either with Syzygy Engineering or another team might pick him up as uh, he's really made a case for himself being in the Cup Series as well. It wouldn't be the first time that that has happened as uh, he's made a few Cup starts in the past, but he's never been full-time. And uh, I think Jeff Fisher full-time in Cup would be a sight to see. I think he'd do quite well for himself as Casey Lester is the first car to bring him uh, to kick off green flag pit stops, but I think this is way too early. Uh, no one is uh, really committing to the pit lane. Carter Fitzgerald there had a problem, and uh, she's sitting in the pits. Something has gone wrong in that six car, as Austin Sanders now is having a pretty good run. We haven't talked about him all season, except when he's being lapped or wrecked, so uh, that should tell you enough about his year. But he's having a pretty good race. He's up uh, in 11th place right now doing battle with J.C. Carpenter. He's going to take that position and move up uh, into the top 10. So uh, Austin Sanders driving for the Turbo Sports team. Uh, that team has been floating around the relegation zone all season. And it's finally good to see them having a pretty decent run uh, up near the front. As Lucy Nectal Jr. Uh, brought his car into the pits a uh, few laps after Casey Lesser. But still, this might be a little too early. As, uh, I guess not, as uh, two laps later, Lenore Scurry brings her car into the pits. And uh, pitting earlier is better here, as uh, it gives your tires a chance to warm up. As we've got four wide between Austin Sanders, J.C. Carpenter, that Austin Sanders goes into the wall there. That's going to do a lot of damage to his car and ruin a potentially good run for that team. As two laps later, uh, Jeff Fisher brings his car into the pits from the lead. Uh, Casey Lester is going to stay out, but uh, is not going to lead a lap as uh, he just went a lap down. As uh, JF Davila does stay out and is going to lead a lap, and uh, he is the last car who needs to come into the pits. JF Davila leading a lap, trying to get a bonus point. Actually, will get a bonus point, and uh, that team uh, will need that to uh, move up in the team standings. As Jeff Fisher comes out of the pits. He had an exceptional pit stop, and we're going to see if we can see Lenore Scurry. No, I think we just saw her 
uh, coming out of turn two as he was entering turn three. So that's a pretty big gap uh, for Fisher here. Yeah, that that's a pretty big gap, and uh, we're starting to get into the twilight stages of this race. So uh, rest of the field now starts bringing their way in. Uh, that's uh, JF Davila bringing his car into the pit, so he's going to surrender the lead over to uh, Jeff Fisher, who's now coming around. And let's see how uh, that gap is as Jeff Fisher now. Uh, JF Davila is nowhere near. And uh, that gap now is uh, 7.6 seconds uh, with 10 minutes to go. So Lenora Scurry has quite a gap to cut down. Uh, she has been faster uh, just a bit as, oh, Matt Tauger got in the way of uh, Fisher there as Fisher's getting a bit fed up as it looks like Lenore Scurry has taken the challenge and has started to close the gap just a bit. Uh, as now, we've got about 8 minutes to go and the gap is down to 5.7 seconds. So Lenore Scurry gained over 2 seconds that last time by. Uh, maybe it's because he was being held up, but uh, here we've got the 919 car doing battle. A uh, little further back, Roman Carpon has had a pretty exceptional run here today and he's doing battle with Alex Posington. Uh, for 7th place, as we've got a lapsed car coming up to interfere with that, that's Dustin Oliver. They're going to split him, and uh, Roman Carpon just having an excellent run here today. But taking a look back up at the front of the field, uh, Jeff Fisher now uh, coming up to lap Kelly Thomas. Uh, is Thomas going to get out of the way and play nice with her teammate? She probably should, because Lenore Scurry has now closed the gap to uh, 3.2 seconds. And uh, we've got just a few minutes to go. I believe it's about seven minutes to go in this race. And Lenore Scurry, at this rate, will catch Jeff Fisher by the end of the race. So Kelly Thomas plays nice, slots in behind uh, her teammate, and is going to have to do some blocking here uh, if Fisher is going to win. As uh, five minutes to go in this race, and the gap is down to 2.8 seconds. So Jeff Fisher holding on as long as he can. Uh, he did pit later which meant that uh, Lenora Scurry was able to get some heat into her tires, and now she is flying around this track. Uh, Lenora Scurry doing an excellent job back there in the 92, and uh, Jeff Fisher just holding on for all he's worth at this point. As you see there, Kelly Thomas in the back. Uh, Thomas is going to lay over and die for Lenora Scurry, so uh, perhaps it's... Uh, a bit of an apology for what happened earlier when she let her teammate get the lead, but uh, Kelly Thomas lays over and dies, which means that it's a clear track between uh, Lenore Scurry and Jeff Fisher. Three minutes to go, and uh, last time by, uh, the 92 was 1.2 seconds faster, and the gap is down to about one second. So uh, Lenore Scurry really closing in. She is within the draft now of Jeff Fisher who is really struggling. I'm not sure if it's the set of tires that he was on or if he just hasn't warmed him up or if something has gone wrong with that car because he has dropped off his pace quite a bit and Lenore Scurry is there. Scurry all over the back bumper of Fisher coming here through the final turns. Uh, Scurry trying to make a move but she's not going to do it. Uh, I think she's just going to run in the draft and set up her move as now coming through the hairpin here. Turn number three. Two minutes to go. Lenore Scurry is going to make a move on the inside. She's got a run. And Lenore Scurry is going to take the lead from Jeff Fisher with two minutes to go. And uh, I don't think Fisher is going to be able to put up much of a fight here as uh, he is struggling quite a bit. Oh, there's a bit of a lapped car in the way. That's uh, Dustin Oliver, but they're going to get around him without too much of an issue. And Lenora Scurry opens up the lead. And uh, coming around, she will be getting the two to go. And uh, unfortunately for Jeff Fisher, uh, he would not be able to catch Lenora Scurry. And she would take her second career win and second race win of the 2016 PCC light season here at the Burlington Raceway. A look at the results shows that JF Davila managed to get around Sam Burkhart for third place. Lucy Nectal Jr. rounds up the top five in an a great showing for that team. Alex Posington, P6. Both Tony Long cars get up into the top 10 with Roman Carpont in 7th and Dima Van Hall in 10th. Denny Adams, Patrick O'Hannigan in 8th and 9th. Casey Lester had a good run, uh, finished in 11th place. Uh, Matt Beck did well. He finished in 12th. Josiah Hofacker 
in 13th, did a good job. Dean Wormer came from the back of the grid to finish in 14th. Tiffany Matthews has a good run in 15th, one of her best runs in the season. Alex Constantine finishes in 16th, Daniel Bouchard 17th, Sam Smith uh, in a race to prepare him for the round of Russia finishes in 18th, Bluto Belushi makes it a double top 20 for Fat Drunk Stupid Racing, and Damon Jones rounds out the top 20 in the 48 car. Now looking at the point standings, after his woes today, Dustin Oliver falls 61 points adrift of his teammate Sam Burkhart, who remains untouched at the top of the standings. Jeff Fisher moves within 8 of Dustin Oliver for second place, and Lenore Scurry is within 2 of Jeff Fisher. Casey Lester remains in 5th place in the points, Lucy Nectal Jr. 6th, Damon Jones in 7th, Matt Beck had a good run today and, eight, and is in 8th place, uh, JF Davila in 9th with 2 wins on the season, and James Beverly unfortunately blew up uh, fairly early on today and falls to 10th in points, Denny Adams in 11th, Isaac Parsons had a pretty poor showing today and is 12th in points, Alex Posington tied with Justin King for 13th after his woes, and Pat O'Hannigan in 15th having a pretty decent season uh, with one win at the round of Missouri. Uh, Greg Maddox really struggling this season in the lights cars, hasn't been able to adapt as well as he has with the cup cars. Tony Long has two cars in the top 20, and so does Genesis Engineering. This concludes the PCC Light Series at Vermont. We will see you next week at, in Canada at CTMP with the lights and the trucks cars, and we'll also see you in Russia at the Vnukovo Airport for the PCC Cup Series Round of Russia, which is an overcapacity event.